we're going to be catching all kinds of Pokemon, man. All kinds. I have to like, listen to this epic music. Can you hear that? I got a message. Hello there, I'm Professor Willow. Did you know that this world is inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon? There's, there's a Pokemon nearby. Oh my gosh. Where? Here are some Pokeballs. These will help you catch one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. My gosh. Okay, so we've got. Look! I've got it. Oh, this is so intense. I got a Charmander. Oh my gosh! I caught a Charmander. So now we have to go and walk. So let's go do that now. Let's go find some Pokemon. This feels like semi kind of weird because like you're on the phone trying to catch these freaking things that aren't even real but you look up and there's like four or five other people doing exactly the same thing. And right now I'm like in a location where there's these little leaves that are like I don't know what that means. What does that mean? Playing Pokemon? That's cool. <laughs> Oh my gosh, the bat is literally where the camera is. That is so cool. Here we go. I'm going to catch it. Oh, I keep missing him. He keeps flying over. Got it! Look at that. Got the Pokemon. Oh yeah. So, why is there so many? The question is that I have for you guys, write in the comments below. Help me understand why there are so many of the same Pokemon like in the area. Is it because like they're easier to catch? Are they like a lower Pokemon than all the others? Like why can't I go ahead and just like catch a Pikachu or a Charizard? Why do I get all these little small ones? Like a zoo a Zubat? Like what's a Zubat? So it's been heaps of fun going around, meeting heaps of people. I think the positive thing to this game is that you get to meet people, you get to go out uh, in public and interact with people and ask them, you know, what kind of Pokemon they're catching, all of that kind of stuff. I think that the downside to the game is that it chews your battery like crazy. It's, it's insane, but that's okay if you've got like a portable charger or whatever. But yeah, so I'm at level 4, which is pretty poor compared to all of you other Pokemon Masters out there that are like level whatever. Um, but I'm doing pretty good so far. 
I'm having a bit of fun. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a massive thumbs up. I really do appreciate it when I see people that like my videos. Also, if you want to leave your comments down below as to what Pokemon you have caught, and if you're in Launceston or Tasmania, write in the description below where you've caught the Pokemon, and if it is a secret, make sure you don't give it away. Thank you so much for your support. It's awesome to interact with you guys via the comments and also in public. I've had a few coffees with everyone. Um, thank you to Lucy today for hanging out with me. It was an awesome day out uh, with you getting coffee and catching Pokemon and finding jewelry and all of that kind of stuff. So it was awesome hanging out with you, Lucy. Sometime next week, I'm going to do another Pokemon Adventure Go video. But I won't tell you when it is because it's a big surprise. It's going to be pretty, pretty awesome. And until I'm looking at you next, I'll see you later. I've got some more Pokemon to catch. So that's kind of why I'm ending the video now. Because I want to go and catch more Pokemon. So, bye.